everyone welcome to this video where we are required to express the huh, square root of x square y power 5 the whole thing divided by y in this form x power a y power b where a and b are integer okay there's quite a lot of information here so something to point out since a and b are integers, integers basically means that um, no decimal. Okay, or no fraction by extension. Uh. Yep. And so now that we know that a and b are basically integers. Let's move on to see what we can do with this x square y power 5 over y which is a square root. Now, this is important. You need to remember that every time we have this square root, it will be good for us to uh, do this thing that we actually see this whole thing as a whole bracket to the power of 1 square means that outside is a square and therefore we could actually represent this as x square y power 5 over y the whole thing will be 1 over 2 the power is 1 over 2 okay so this is something that we can remember. So this is something that I would like to just put a short note at the side. If I have a square root, then this will be power 1, 2, then I will have a to the power of half. Next, then I will want to simplify the terms inside the bracket. Okay, <clears throat> and you will see that I could become x power 2, y power 4 this is still to the power of half what happened to d y power 5 and y why does it become y power 4 well at the side you would be able to see that this simply means that we are going to divide by y and since there is 5y on top then I just need to divide off and I will get y power 4. This is the easiest way to look at this. Okay. And finally, do make sure that we are going to multiply in this half in because this is using the following rule where if there's a power outside of the indices i will have to multiply in the power in so eventually two times half will be give will lead us to x to the power of one y power four so my y will then be 4 times half 2. So by comparing my x power 1, x power a, y power 2, y power b, we can then see that the value of a is 1, the value of b is 2. And therefore, the final answer will be half. Well, we have come to the end of this video. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.